Hey, it's your boy Mr. XP here, back with another video on the channel. We're back with Ghostwire Tokyo. I'm gonna stop saying again, um, but you already know that I'm gonna keep saying it. Maybe once the blue moon or something like that or whatever. <laughs> um, I'm a little tired. Not like that in a bad way. I'm just a little tired because I went to my other nine to five this morning. So I'm recording this now in the afternoon, and yeah. But I just wanted to let you guys know that. We're going to go ahead and kind of breeze through Ghostwire Tokyo really quick. Because I want to record like at least... Well, for this part, it's only one vid for today. But um, tomorrow on Thursday, like I said in the last part or in NFS Unbound gameplay walkthrough, I said that I'm going to be doing the long recording session this Thursday. So since today's Wednesday, um, I'm going to be doing most of the recordings tomorrow. So... By the time this vid is out, there's going to be like at least 10 or 12 Ghostwire gameplay walkthrough parts probably set to be released, to be released or or set to be put public or whatever. I don't know why I can't talk straight, but, but also as well, I bit my tongue, so the corner of my tongue kind of hurts right now. Oh God. <laughs> but let's go ahead and continue. Um, I don't want to sit here and bore you guys with the details and everything like that. I was just about to click on my save file. But, um, yeah. So, it's a lot of fun that I'm able to go ahead and continue Ghostwire Tokyo. And now that I actually feel a little bit better, like I said, um, the pain in the back of my throat, like the, the back of my throat and my nose from the ear infection and the throat infection is gone. But the thing is, though, it's like I could probably, sometimes when I try to, like, swallow or whatever, like the back, you know, like the roof of your tonsils. The back of your throat, it kind of hurts or whatnot. So, we're just gonna go ahead and ignore it. You're getting better at gliding. Yeah, I'm getting there. We're gonna go ahead and forget about that. Also, um, let me get this one right here. Also, as well, I'm recording in. Because, hold on. Because since this goes by Tokyo, I could afford to do this maybe. Performance mode. Whoa. We're playing in performance mode right now, but I want to try because since I'm recording in uh 59.95 NSTC, uh, I want to see if I could try. Let's try um HRFE performance over VS. I want to let's try this, see if this works. Hope that there's no screen tearing in the gameplay walkthrough. If there is, which I'm not seeing anything on my end. Let's go here. So we gotta go to the car. We're gonna do the car first. Um, if there's any screen tearing, just let me got, let me know in the comments down below, so I can go ahead and find out. Um, just in case if anything happens, I just revert back to my regular settings. Cause I wanna actually get like a better uh, frame rate. And see how it might feel. So I want to also uh, play with some of my settings for a bit. Alright, climb up. There you go. Let's get this real quick. We're not going to do too much in uh, this part. We're going to only focus on the carrier mode. So if any side mission stuff comes up, I go ahead and try to do it. Or anything that I need to do comes up, I go ahead and try to do it. I go ahead and uh, do it. Whoa. Oh. Okay. I'm not reaching her. Can I get up? What? Where did she go? Oh, right there. Yeah, let me do an air purge.
I tried to do another air purge, but it wouldn't let me. <laughs> it's okay. Um, okay. I wish she could go over there. She can't. Like to the left over there of Shibuya. Alright. So let's do. No, I didn't mean to do that. No, I didn't mean to do that either. There you go. I need my arrows for this part. They've got a spare gas can. <laughs> this turbine wheel's useless. <coughs> the shape's all wrong. It won't work? Damn it, Rinko. Why'd you have to use parts nobody can replace? This part is a little bit hard. That's why I wanted to get this one out of the way first by getting the turbine wheel instead of the oil. Oh, pick it up. KK! Goddamn things. Akito, do something already! I'll try! I'll get rid of them. This part is fun, but it's also annoying because I have to protect them. My controller is vibrating like crazy. I can't even see her. Got some more company. Yeah, good one. Oh, come on. No, I miss. Yeah, that's how you do it. I didn't know you guys could probably hear my controller vibrating like crazy. Get her first. And get her. And get the ones up in the air first. Controller vibrating like crazy. You guys can't hear it through the studio mic, but my controller is vibrating like crazy. Cause I'm trying to press and hold left, uh, right trigger. Wait, that didn't take her out. What? I'm all right. No need to panic. And then there goes the Yakuza boss apparitions coming. coming. I bet you on a hard they do a lot more. Pretty good. Let me deal with the Yakuza boss first. How did I miss him? Okay, I'm I'm just straight missing him. I'm not hitting him. Okay, let me focus on these. Don't sweat it. Just keep firing until you hit something. Ow. Okay, I gotta deal with you. How did I miss? Out of arrows. Gotta get more. Now I got the Yakuza boss. Good. I think that's the last of them. I've got to get over to KK. I can pick that bottle of water up. Okay. That 
That was impressive. You handled yourself well. Thanks. Never realized just how safe it feels in here. Yeah, I know what you mean. Trust me, this part was fun, but it's annoying because it's a little uh, side thing. The other part is fun. That's why I want to save that for last. Still need to find that turbine wheel. Let's gather up the other stuff first. Any apparitions? If I get near that phone. Huh, funny. Because normally there'd be. We're having trouble with that turbine wheel. My baby will only take parts from exotic vehicles. Regular parts won't cut it. But if you head under the scramble crossing, there's a car show going on. I figured KK would have known that, though. I would. Let's go check it out, I guess. I was trying to say that when I was playing the main carry mode, when I was trying to finish that, set this uh, mission here in Chapter 4, or whatnot, I was trying to use the phone. What do you call it? Huh. Probably enjoying watching us struggle. Well, you are pretty funny when you struggle. Funny? If I'm in trouble, so are you. Got it? Um... Like I was saying, there was apparitions right here for me on the other save file or whatnot when I was trying to deal with that phone. So, hopefully. Alright, there you go. Back to my regular power. Oh, I need me to press up on the D pad to turn on the flashlight. Uh, let's see. Can I zoom out? We gotta go back to Shibuya. Uh, the the crossing. We gotta go back there. <laughs> Basically, there's a Lamborghini downstairs in the train station that's on display, and we have to get Something's the coming. Oh, there. Guys, never seen me fight one of those before. Um, there's a Lamborghini Gato down here in the basement. I mean, in the subway uh, train station, in a way. And the thing is, though, what do you call it? You have to get the turbine from here. So, why did Rinko say you'd know about that car show? Not a clue. Gotta use fire because there's a Yakuza boss here. Don't turn around. Turbine wheel from the Lamborghini here in the oh, train station. I get it now. My boy was really into this car. I'll bet we can use this turbine wheel. And I like how it goes fade to black every time. All matter, all flesh must one day. I don't think you've ever mentioned your family before. Because there's nothing worth mentioning. Tell me sometime. I'll tell you something too. I'll think about it. Again, 
because I don't know what his problem is. I haven't got past chapter four. So I'm glad I'm doing the gameplay walkthrough for you guys to force myself to actually finish it out. Is that what I think it is? Yup, I hear the music. And that is a demon parade. We gotta go now to the other area. So we gotta go right. We can fast travel there. Or you know what? I could show you guys the demon parade one time. Mm. Yeah, let me show you the demon parade one time. <laughs> Alright, come on. Come on with it. Take me into the void. Take me into the void. The demon parade. Oh, wait. Let me take a pic for the thumbnail. No, not selfie. Blue Monday. Red Moon. Vintage. Ah, dang. I want to do... No, it's going to have to say like that. Saturation. Uh, white point. No, oh, that's too much. Uh, the hue. Tone it down a little bit. Uh, no, nah, I'm just gonna leave it with no filter. a day now I'll leave it at five and then let's see do this yeah we're gonna do cinema and then Akito's bike is right there too so that's even perfect for the thumbnail No, I'm trying to. How did I zoom in just now? Good of you. Oh, this is how I zoom in. Let's go ahead and do this by the HUD. And then we go ahead and take the pick for the thumbnail. This is the thumbnail for this part. This is the first time you guys are gonna see the demon parade. Yakiako, the demon parade. into one of their accretions only way out now is by fighting so these are one of the demon parades they're basically a set of apparitions that roam around Shibuya and you can't do anything once you're in here, you have to fight. Right before. Bring it on, turn back. Whoa, hey now. Must 
be in the double digits by now. No words, kid. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, my right. One in the visible apparitions. Oh, there he is. Ow. Wait, there's two of them? Where is it? Search everywhere. Spectral vision will show us where it is. There's two of them, I guess. Where's the other one? Oh, there. Wait, I was confused. There were, I thought there was two of those apparitions. <clears throat> Hold on. They're getting too close. Here, yeah, let's freeze them. Just all y'all go to sleep. All right. Now you could just be the lonely, lonesome apparition that can run around. I'm just gonna eat the shake down this kid. <laughs> and that's that. Wait, are you kidding me? Two again. Ow. Oh, no, I gotta eat something. I can get you. Oh, where's your buddy? Oh, there he is. that's that so trust me being in a demon parade is not easy but the thing is though you have to beat all the apparitions in that demon parade once in a blue moon it might be a mini boss so i'm surprised it wasn't a mini boss that you guys had to see so these are what they called hayaki yako on a demon parades that was a close one i'll say we need to be more careful can always expect to get so lucky dealing with that. See, even KK says it in the game, because basically you're dealing with a, per, a apparition, or a demon parade, but basically you might end up having to deal with actually once in a blue moon, uh, um, what do you call it, a mini boss. And trust me, it's not fun dealing with mini bosses in Ghostwire Tokyo. Well, why do I lag all of a sudden? I was just lagging for a second. Oh, he scared me. All matter, all flesh must one day return. Oh, like who's spotting me? All right, now we gotta go to the other area to get the oil now for the bike. Oh, apparition right there. What's on my left? There's nothing on my left right here. Hold on. Before we continue, I just want to know what this is on my left that I'm picking up. Oh, Jesus at you. 
Oh, come on. Not to get both fours. We can still save more. Let me get this one right here. This must be the other one that I haven't picked up on. Oh, you see this here. <clears throat> yeah, this is the wind one. Another wind. Buddha praying statue. Get the wind power from here. Okay, I don't know why I can't go through that little section right there. Alright. So we should be good now. Left some more apparitions or spirits, I mean, and then we're good to go. No, you don't see me. Now, who's on my right? Oh, you gotta get up. Oh, we're near it though. Oh, really? I thought it was you. Oh no, I guess we'll get him. Okay. That would have been a perfect block. What? Oh wow. He got back up last minute. <clears throat> I was trying to do grab the core when he was down, but I couldn't. You know, I'm like by the time I got to him, he just like he just stand back up. Can I I'm over. Let's see. Yeah, they gotta go straight over here and head up there. Um. Oh wow. Why are you here? Why like, you don't belong here? All right. There's no. Because there's another way how I normally could get over there, but the thing is I need a, what do you call it? Do it you, so you're not in my way. I mean, I could climb up. I could climb up on one of the roofs and then just fly over. Hmm. Oh, here. Perfect. So now we can go ahead. What the heck? Oh, the apparition is there. I'm like, who's seeing me from high up? Now, but we gotta get there. It's high up. How do we even reach it? Doubt we can get to it from here. Maybe try checking the highway. Perfect. Nope, we don't gotta go to the I-95. We could go right here and climb up over here. I want to get those apparitions right there. <clears throat> We're just gonna focus on this for now. Just glide over there. But do I have the other ability max out?
the gliding. Yep, I do. We're gonna make it. And Bob's young. So now this part's gonna be the easy part to show you how this part is like way better than the other part because for that you if you're playing for the first time you wouldn't know what to do there so feels like something mortal eyes were never meant to see so for this part it's a little bit easier because you're only dealing with one straight path we're close to the underworld once we're in it won't be easy getting back out you ready for this so sounds like you're all set good so just to let you guys know I'm playing on easy. I'm not playing on normal. So I was doing this on normal. So it was a little bit hard for me. So because I didn't know what I was doing as I was just trying to explore this part. Hey, who would you want to meet in the afterlife if you could? Huh, I'd want to see my granddad. We'd go hunting for Kappa together. I guess my mom and dad. Huh? You're p sorry. I didn't know. So. But no, the reason why I picked this part because it's a bit interesting. That's why I saved it for you guys. So much corruption. If that's right, we should be able to find that underworld oil around here. And we got company. I can deal with him. But trust me, when we go back to the real world, we're gonna go ahead and try to get some of the um the Jesus statues to level up the power. So we can get some more ammo. And after we discover something in the gameplay walkthrough, we can deal with those apparitions now better. Um first things first we need to take out the flying ones. Hey, what? Okay, seems like that tree's in the way. Why can't I? Okay. Okay, now she sees me. No. Use the arrows. Wait, what? Oh, come on. Whoa, that was scary. I never seen it. I never seen it charge at me like that before. That was really scary. I never seen it, that apparition like that charge me, at me before like that. But no, why can I take my arrows out? What? My arrows don't work here. That's impossible. I literally did that on um normal on the other save file. Why can I take my arrows out right there? Okay. Where's the other one? Oh, the other one's right there, but now I was looking for the other ghost. That's what I was looking for. What? That's the one I was looking for. good could you come over here
Okay. Since you didn't want to come over to me. So I was trying to get her to come over to me, and I'm like, why can't I use my arrows? It's still a big mystery to me. Why can't I use my arrows? In a way. <coughs> More coin. What? I can't run through the bamboo? Okay. Gotta go through the opening of the bamboo. Alright. That's it. We're gonna save the rest. Because now this is where we're gonna end up having the little mini boss fight. After we get the oil. It was easy coming here to get the oil, but hard on the way out. They couldn't make it easy, could they? We just gotta play their game. Hopefully not for too long. that first <clears throat> all right gotta stand in the spirit well so I can get power You try. Wait, what? There you go. I just don't know why it wasn't going the first few times. Get that back. All right, we're good to go. Just eat some food. And then we're good to go. There should be some food over here floating. Yeah. Got the oil. Good to go. And now we gotta fight our way out. All right. We're done here. Let's get going. Little kitty. Glad he's enjoying himself. <laughs> Gotta do it. Wait, what? I was like, why it cost so much? Now this is where we fight our way out. <coughs> and trust me, this part's gonna be a little, not scary for you guys, but probably abstract. The corruption's coming back. That explains why most folks can't get back from here. Now, can I use my arrows? Nope. Get down. I just gotta do this. Just keep firing. Keep firing. Whoa. 
No. Wait, what? KK cap? You gotta be kidding me. Are you kidding? This is the first time I ever got separated from KK. He might be dead. Up to my loop. Up to my loop. Skip, skip. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Come on, come on. Okay, that did it. I need my ult. Eat first. I gotta do this now. Grab her core. No, I wasn't trying to do that. I was trying to do the other attack. Alright. Since that's how you want to play, Flamethrower will burn you. That's right. Ooh, we almost died right there, and that was in the gameplay walkthrough. Oh my goodness. See why? But for me, on the other carrier mode, on the other save file, I was already full health. I knew how to deal with it. And that's on normal too, by the way. <coughs> Just get me out of here. I can't believe we almost died. That would have been a quick cut <laughs> to back to the, me getting back to the real world. Try to get out of the underworld. Oh, we made it. I really thought we were done for. Yeah, the tomb doesn't open its doors lightly. All right, that's everything. Let's head back to the safe house and fix up the bike. All right. Why is this door open? Oh, there's an elevator here. No wonder. Can't believe it that I almost died right there. I still can't get over that. Can't believe I'm getting that through the floor. Oh, the other treasure. What the hell is that? Oh, some playing cards. Oh, it was me by my face. Now we gotta head back to um, what do you call it? Hanako's uh, garage. Oh, that's some snacks. Wait, what? What is this? Oh. Huh? What's that? That's the laughing apparition. I want to. They like to hide. Or I didn't know what that was on the floor because I scanned. I'm like, what was that on the floor? I never seen them like that before pop up. I know they popped up before, but I never seen them like that before I got into the, the fight. So it's funny that I was able to see the apparition like that. Oh, I got them both. All right. Oh, treasure. Oh no, that must be the prayer box. Yeah, prayer box down there. I thought that was <laughs> treasure on my right. Alright. This part's at 45 minutes long. Let me just head back to Hanako's apartment. 
the baby girl's apartment and then once we get there i'm gonna end the gameplay walkthrough part and then we're gonna continue from there oh wait no after this part we have to um i should be actually looking for the jizzle statues because after this part you go to a point i think of no return and it's like a minute before you come back here i think <coughs> can i stand up <coughs> so probably in the next part in part um 13 or 14 we're gonna go ahead and uh Oh no, this is probably 14 or 15. I think it's part 16 or whatever. <coughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, we're going to have to look only for the Jizzle statues. So, yeah, I'm going to probably end it here. And uh, sorry about me coughing a lot. Um, But yeah, we're going to go ahead and find the Jizzle statues in the next part. And uh, then we're going to go to Hanako. Um, I say Hanako. I'm saying Hanako like it's cyberpunk. Rinko's apartment. Deal with the bike and continue the carry mode. I'm saying it completely backwards. My bad. But it's your boy Mr. XP. I'll see you guys in the next part.